Today we are finally checking out the brand new album Cure by Era. This album rollout has been a blast. These songs have been some of my favorite I've ever heard from this band, and it's really been a turning point for me in my relationship with Era. If you guys go back to my earlier videos with them, you know I haven't quite been the warmest towards them. You know, I really respect them, but their music hasn't really grabbed me like a lot of other bands. With these past couple singles, I don't know. They've been cooking up something, and I really like the way it smells. So today, we're finally going to listen to their new album, Cure, and we're going to jump right into it. I still really like this riff. Super bendy. Big Jesse moments. Yeah, the song is just all through. I just love the. There's something about the way that this like chaotic, bouncy riff interacts with Jesse's very simple vocals here. It really works for me. That chord change that just happened is really tasty. I remember this breakdown being pretty sick. Oh yeah, there it is. The harmonics. Gojira. Sick. That was great. New song. Ooh. Immediate impression. It's a little architect suit. Out around 
little spacey moment. Subdued. Ooh. A little falsetto. A little subdued chorus. A little two step moment. Chorus. I kind of want to hear that chorus again, but like bigger. Ooh. What a little sexy guitar solo. That was sick. Interesting song. Structure is crazy. Okay. Get up there, Jesse. I like that. I like that a lot. Another new one. Idle Wild. It's a place in California, I think. A place people go camping. these kind of fast, like rap flow kind of vocals from JT.
for a bridge. That's pretty good. This one I really like. It was the one I'm thinking it is. Yes, it is. I don't know what it is. It just, it sounds like not era in a great way. I don't mean to be like, oh, it doesn't sound like eras, that's why I like it. But like, it just feels like they're branching out in this really accessible kind of alternative rock kind of way. And I love this guitar tone, the seven string. Sounds like a bass kind of guitar tone. Such a cool little riff. Big chorus too, huge chorus. So sick. Still hits for me. This, well, this is an era, era riff if I've ever heard one kind of riff, you know? And just like, suddenly we're in the trunk. Type breakdown is sick.
Ooh, sorry. Late where I'm at right now. I'm going to sleep after I'm done with this recording. <laughs> This last course is so sick. The halftime feel, the back and forth with JT, and Jesse. It's sick. to get industrial the a Phrygian scale. My music theory isn't great, but sounds kinda sounds kinda Phrygian to me. Nick? Somebody tell me. I love that switch up there. It's like the double time, half time thing. Ah, so sick. This little, little EDM section. Yeah, I think I, an O, an O or a bleh would have been pretty sick right there. <laughs> A hard line. What a sick line.
go on. A little shorty. <laughs> a little short song. Maybe in a little interlude, maybe? It's kind of weird in here. situation this is gonna dump us into what into a new song called glimpse okay oh what a transition Take that high riff and turn it into a big old jaunty boy. She would do more of that. He's so good. It's crazy, like sometimes just zeros and an O. That's all you need for a sick breakdown.
very ethereal. Feel that fade out. Or fade into a little spacey, dreamy kind of track. Big process delay reverb kind of sound. Chunk vibes. Tell me why. I think it's like the major key, happy gent. It's giving. It's giving easy core. It's giving chunk no captain chunk. Feature on this song? Are there any features on this album? Woo! I don't think any features on here. It's been someone else in the band. Cool. Nice little break from the heaviness. 
I'm really liking the variety here. A lot more variety than the self-titled, I feel like. Self-titled felt like all tech, all progressive metalcore all the time. Notes, 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 notes. It's a little more laid back here. As I say that, we're gonna do this freaking song. Which is just... Chunky. It's got the chunk. But overall, I feel like it's just... It laid back a little bit. It's a little more chill. Having a great time. This is fun. It's been a hot minute since I've done an album reaction. It's like Polaris was the last one I did. That was a while ago. From Silent Planet, maybe. I don't know which one was last. Little riff. pretty good. I like that one. We got two more new ones and an old one. Pale Iris came out a while ago. I haven't heard it in a hot minute. End to Excess. There's a pitch shifted riff. Did you check Whammy? It really sparkly, kind of robotic. It's, it's weird. Okay. 
Yeah. Little tiny bit of JT cleans. More, please. Feels like a big, big drop. No. Less, feeling less like a drop. It's close. Sorry. I kind of break down, but a little groove. That Digitech Whammy riff. I don't know how I feel about that being like that pitch shifted. It sounds a little, a little funky. I'm like, just play, play guitar that's not tuned to drop zero. But it's been a minute since I heard this boy. This chorus, dude. This chorus is so good. I forgot. We got the, the JT Cleans. Four. Four JT Cleans. Chorus is great, man. Very good. But this breakdown, if I remember correctly, pretty wicked. dark
Yeah, that's pretty sick. I like it. One more track after this. Signature of this thing, I can't quite get my head around it. Maybe it's 4 4, four, four and I'm crazy. transition. It's 
interesting vibe for a last track. still listening thank you for listening along with me it's been a blast as usual I need to do more of these hopefully soon I really really like that alright that was Era with their new album Cure Let's break it down. Man, I think that delivered exactly what I was looking for from this album. I've always wanted to connect with Era just a little bit more than I have. And this album really, really did it for me. I feel like they took a bit of a darker and more moody approach with this one. A little bit grimier, a little bit grungier, maybe a little bit less perfectly polished and technical. Um, and maybe a little more industrial. I think maybe what was putting me off from this band in the past was kind of the just the perfect polished technicality and just the the non-stop nature of the techie riffage and stuff. And um, but this one just it was so much groovier and bouncier and a little bit darker and grimier as well. I really, really liked that. I also loved the variety in this record. So much variety. I feel like we got to see the full spectrum of this band from absolute filth to beautiful soaring melodies. There's a lot of that throughout the whole record. Lots of great choruses. Lots of little spots to rest in between moments of you know, heaviness or even that really techie stuff like I was mentioning. This is the era that I can really kind of connect with and I really, really enjoyed it. And I thought the drums were absolutely phenomenal. Just so in the pocket, so perfectly aligned with everything else. It sounds fantastic. All the guitars were just so absolutely groovy. A lot more use of harmonics and bendy kind of riffs in this record which you guys know I'm a sucker for. So, you know, they won me over with that maybe a little bit. Other than like Gujira type riffs. Uh, so, so sick. I really, really like that a lot. And then of course, just great vocals across the board from both JT and Jesse. I've really come around on JT's vocals. You know, for a while I thought they were just a little bit too unemotional or whatever. I don't know. I'm not really sure what irked me about them in the past, but I think I've warmed up to them now. I really like when he kind of gets into that kind of fast like, rap flow kind of vibe. It really works with his style of vocals so well. And I really love all the cleans we got from him on this record. I want more. I want more JT cleans. Got a great voice, very powerful voice. And I think Jesse and him should share the clean vocal spotlight a little bit more. Heck, why don't, why don't we hear some screams from Jesse, huh? How about that? I don't know. I honestly, honestly don't know if he does uh, harsh vocals or not, but I would be super down for that. Because, boy, I love Jesse's clean vocals. I think he's really shined in this record. Lots of great melody choices. I mean, Jesse's just the man. He's so good. Overall, I really, really liked this one. I think this is the era record that finally makes me a fan. Uh, and I couldn't be happier. It's just a blast. I think uh, old fans of this band are gonna really like this one, as well as new ones. You know, it keeps keeps that kind of standard era formula alive. It still sounds like them, but with enough of a kind of switch up to sound fresh and new. It's really really cool. Nothing absolutely mind blowing or groundbreaking. You know, this is tried and true metalcore, uh, but just done just so professionally so well. These guys are veterans. They know how to make great metalcore record, and that's exactly what they did. Feeling a strong eight on this one. Let me know what you guys thought of this record in the comments down below. Love to hear 
your thoughts, what's your favorite song. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. You know, if you like alternative music, uh, anything from emo to deathcore, we do it all here on the channel. This is the place for you. We just love discovering and sharing new music with each other. It's a great time. Be sure to subscribe and join the community. Love to have you. I think that's going to do it for me today. See you in the next one.